Works to repair Tobruk Reservoir are going to take several years, so in early 2020 we're going to be undertaking some temporary works to the auxiliary spillway and weir to make the reservoir more resilient against extreme weather events in the medium term. This involves construction of a new concrete weir across the full length of the existing weir crest. The new weir will be just over a metre high. Tobruk Reservoir Embankment has a central puddle clay core. This acts as the watertight element for the embankment, which prevents leakage through the dam. The first part of the new work will be to construct a trench into this existing core. This will be filled with concrete, which will act as a watertight barrier to tie the new concrete weir into the existing clay below. This will prevent any leakage getting underneath the new weir structure. On the spillway channel, we're going to be forming a protected section of channel down the centre away from the damaged area. This will comprise road barriers down each side and a membrane in between to protect the spillway. The new raised weir on the crest will incorporate a lowered central section. These works are only a precaution against very extreme weather events. Even heavy rainfall, such as that experienced in August, which led to the initial damage, will be accommodated within the drawn down level of the reservoir basin without the flows coming up and spilling down the new protected section of spillway. I'm stood here at the inlet to Tobruk Reservoir at the head of the reservoir. This is where flows can be diverted either into the reservoir itself or into the biowash channel. During the emergency response for Tobruk Reservoir, we installed these gabion baskets wrapped in bisqueen that I'm stood on now. These are mesh baskets filled with sandbags and this provides a temporary weir to divert flows away from the reservoir and into the biowash channel so that we can maximise the flow which bypasses the reservoir. In the spring when lower flows permit, the plan is to replace this temporary weir structure with a permanent footbridge incorporating sluice gate openings to allow us to divert flow either into the reservoir or into the biowash channel. This will give us more control over the split of flows between the two. This is the entrance to the biowash channel. On the other side of the culvert opening you can see behind me is a sluice gate which allows us to control the amount of flow which goes down the biwash. This combined with the flow gauge and alarming system we have in place allows us to ensure that we're maximising the flow down the channel and avoiding any out of channel flow or damage to the biwash channel. One of the benefits of installing the footbridge at the new weir structure will be that it provides safe access across the brook for anybody who wishes to access the far side of the bank. The biwash channel you can see behind me is an important part of the operating philosophy for the reservoir. This allows us to divert flows from the upstream Todbrook watercourse past the reservoir and discharge them downstream, keeping as much flow out of the reservoir as possible. You can see today that the flows from Todbrook are bypassing the reservoir and flowing nicely down the biwash channel. We've done detailed surveying of this biwash channel to tell us where the low spots are and we now have flow gauges in place such as the one you can see next to me. This enables us to measure the flows and the heights of water in the channel and ensure that we've got the maximum flow coming down the channel without the risk of overtopping the channel and causing any damage to the bank. As well as a flow gauge in the biwash channel, we also have a flow gauge in the reservoir and that enables us to monitor any change in level in the reservoir. We've got pumps set up, which you can see on the pontoon behind me, as well as the natural draw-offs of the reservoir and all of this allows us to continue to manage the reservoir at this drawn down level. We're regularly measuring any settlement of the embankment and we're receiving detailed weather forecasts which enabled us to predict what flows might be coming to the reservoir. We've done detailed hydraulic modelling of the reservoir basin and this enables us to understand how the reservoir will react to a range of different flow events. Our top priority is keeping people safe.